Good day yet again, and we are back uh, with some more Euclidean geometry uh, examples. So this is from the May, Ju uh, May June 2023 exam. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please just do the right thing. All right, uh, hit that subscribe button. Of course, you can hit the notification bell as well. All right, so let's jump into the question and see what it has. They say in the diagram, we've got DEFG, which is a cyclic quad. Right, so uh, in my case, what I always like doing is just to try and highlight, uh, you know, once they tell me that we've got a cyclic quad, uh, it's always important for us to, you know, just indicate that cyclic quad. Okay, uh, let's just highlight it in a not so intimidating way. Okay, so there's our cyclic quad there. Ah, I've drawn a skew line there. All right, so I know that would be my cyclic quad. So as a result, uh, I know that the opposite angles are supplementary. Okay, so we can use that principle, right? Uh, something else that they are telling us is that we've got a uh, chord e -D -E -H, rather that is uh, drawn, right? Um, so they say, let D1 be equal to X, right? So they want us to prove, giving reasons, that D1 is equal to D2, okay? Uh, I think I missed the part where, um, you know, they gave us those parallel lines there. Uh, I'm sure you noted it. Uh, you noted it. EF is parallel to DG, right? So we've got parallel lines there. Okay, let's just indicate them in some way or another. Okay, so we know that... Uh, this line here would be parallel to that line over there. Okay, right. Similarly, we've got another set of parallel lines. Okay, so we know that this line here is definitely parallel uh, to that guy over there. In fact, I should have actually stretched this a little bit longer. Right, so uh, those are the parallel lines that we have, right? Okay, I hope that's not confusing given that uh, we still have that cyclic quad. Right, so they've given us this angle D1 to be equal to X, right? So now, what do we know? Let's use the properties of a cyclic quad. In this case, then, that means that angle uh, F would be 180 minus x. Remember, we said d1 plus f, in this case, um, d1 plus f, right, is equal to 180. And why is that? Because these are opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So these are opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Okay. Right. So now, we know that uh, then it means that uh, angle F would be equal to now because D1 is X. So angle F will be 180 minus D1, which is X, right? Now, I want you to note in this case, but we also know that F plus G, okay? Angle F plus angle G will give us 180, right? But why is that? Because these are co-interior angles, right? So co-interior angles, remember, um, in this case, because, uh, you know, FG is parallel to, um, you know, uh, um, yeah, uh, no, not FG, rather, EF is parallel to DG. So because these two lines are parallel, in this case, it makes these angles here to be co-interior angles. They give us 180. So what does that mean? It means that G will be equal to, now please I want you to note, it's 180 minus, remember what angle F is. Angle F is 180 minus X, okay? So that makes now angle G to be equal to um, X, right? Because you'll say 180 minus uh, sorry, 180 minus 180, okay? Now, negative times a negative would give us a positive. 
so that will give you x okay i just wanted you to show uh, i wanted to show it to you right so that means that angle g would now be equal to x right okay so in this case what does that then do now please note in this case we're going to use the parallel lines fg as well as um uh you know dh right so now angle g is equal to angle d2 okay which is equal to x but why is that they are alternating angles right why because dh is parallel to fg all right so there is that z there so there's our parallel lines okay so that means that d2 is actually equal to angle g so we've actually proven it right we said d1 is equal to x right uh, we started with d1 which was given so therefore d1 is equal to d2 okay so therefore d1 is equal to d2 because both of them are equal to x right i hope that makes sense ladies and gents right i hope you are able to follow right we'll be uh, uh, continuing with some more examples on paper two as you guys prepare for your exams right i'll see you guys next time shop shop